Hello everybody and welcome back to War Thunder. In today's video we're going to be flying out with the i301 in some live commentary matches because lately I've just been doing post commentaries and I felt like spicing things up today and doing a live commentary. So today's plane is the i301 or a plane that everybody wants and if you don't want it then you're just being a poopy pants because you didn't get it. <laughs> if you didn't get it, then I think you really have missed out. It's this plane that you can unlock during the Christmas tasks. I think there was like 19 tasks that you had to do, and you had a small chance of actually unlocking it by doing each task. And I know some people actually managed to get it after like just a few tasks. I had to do every single freaking task to get it, so I had to play hard in order to get it. And I'm glad I did eventually get it because it's an absolutely awesome plane. I was playing it on the stream yesterday for you guys, and it was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I knew that was going to be powerful, but the moment I would shoot at people, the moment I would spray at them, they would be literally dead within half a second. And that wasn't a case of just once or twice, that was many, many times. So this is the i301 right here, I'll quickly go over all of his stats, and then we'll head out in some battles. Uh, we'll start off with some of the big points, I'm not going to go through the exact statistics, but the maximum speed for a tier 1 plane, especially for the USSR, it's very, very fast. In fact, I would say, I think it's actually the fastest out of every single one. You'd think like, the lags would be quite fast, but those are only stopping at a, just under 600. This thing is speedy at 626. Its turn time, theoretically, is better than the lags, although I think it's quite a heavy plane. So I, in in practice, I would actually say I would be more comfortable with using a lag in a turn fight against an I-301, but hey-ho, that's what it is. Its armament is really freaking good. 23mm cannon, a single one with 81 rounds. That's plenty. I mean, it's not a lot, but at the same time, it's also enough. Uh, where if you shoot at a plane, you can instantly, you can instantly kill them. It's just that good. So 23mm cannon is very powerful compared to the 20mm cannons on the other things like the lags. 7.62s and also 12.7 on it makes it absolutely awesome. The armor, well it has a little armored plate on the back of the seat. I guess that's nice for, nice for what it's worth. Check that out. 8mm thick. Depending where you hit it, has different effective thickness. I don't know. Something to consider, maybe, if it's really that important. Guns are centrally located in the nose, so that means the most accurate shots, you don't have to worry about things in the wings and displacement and stuff like that. So, that is pretty much the i301 right there. Absolutely awesome plane, I'm loving it. Let me just make sure I have my crew aced out on it, I do. And let's head out into some arcade battles. By the way, interesting fact just before we get started here, I've counted up all the hours I've spent in like my tanks and my planes and arcade and realistic battles, the two modes that I play. And I've counted that I've played a total of about roughly 22 days worth of War Thunder. That's kind of scary, considering I've played the game for about two years now. I've spent about a, almost a month of my life playing this game. Huh. Now the belts that I use is Stealth Ammo for the 12.7, 7.62. Omnipurpose for the 23mm because it has fragmentation uh, shells in there. And those are actually very, 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 very powerful. Alright, I'm taking up against... Gladiators? Wow, this is gonna be really easy actually. I'm gonna enjoy this. Hope you guys are as well. So before we get, come in contact with the enemy, I gotta ask you guys, how much time have you spent in War Thunder? I've got 22 days and also, have you achieved the i301? Do you have it? Have you used it? What are your impressions on it? I imagine that it's probably gonna be positive. Ooh, another i301 on the enemy team. Looks like some people want to experience the fun of the i301 as well. I hope I'm not going to die too fast, because this thing... Yesterday on the stream, I got absolutely, like, very, very high kills in this. There was one game where I got, like, 15 and 0. It was just absolutely insane. Alright, here we go. Let's try to take out the BF-110. See how fast it's going to be to actually take this thing out. Ooh, critical hit. On the cooling system. For what that's worth, I don't know. It's a kill assist. Alright, good start. Good start, good start. But all the shots are pretty much lined up here. Perfect. Oop, watch out, Gladiator. It kind of overheats a little bit fast. So you got to be wary that you don't spray this thing a bit too fast. But there we go. I think my my teammates are actually shooting through me to try and get that kill. That's fine. As long as I don't take damage, I don't mind if they shoot through me. It's just a little bit annoying. Oh, hello there, I-301. 
Great, another en an enemy I-301 that's on me. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, thanks for damaging me, I-301. Great. Now I have to take you out. Alright, I-301 and I-301 action. This is so hot. Come here. Come here. I'm not gonna let you go. Not after what you're trying to do to me. Oh, for fuck's sake. This guy isn't stupid. If he has an I-301, then he can't be stupid, because these things are, like, quite hard to achieve, so... I imagine he actually has a bit more of uh, a brain than a potato. But, check that out. That dude's dead. Uh, and that I threw one's just gonna fly away, so, like, as much as I have blood in my eyes to want to kill him, I really do want to kill him, I'm not going to because I'm gonna end up chasing myself into, like, their spawn. So, I'm not gonna bother. Wow. They're just getting absolutely obliterated. But see how fast that thing was for him to be able to escape from us? Like that? Damn. The I threw ones are really damn good. Also, one thing to keep a note of is the battle rating on this thing. It has a battle rating of 2.3. So, considering that uh, the highest USSR plane out tier 1 to have a highest battle rating is the Chaika with 3.0, 2.3 actually is not that bad. Like, the lags have 2.0. So, a 0.3 difference is like nothing at all. Alright, wow, this HE 51. That was some epic landing right there, sir. That's a pretty awesome everything you got there. I just gotta be wary of the I threw one. Something in. Inside of me tells me that he wants to kill me. Okay, well, I don't see him anywhere. Is he dead? He might be dead. It might be true, I don't know. But I think I've got like five kills maybe now. Roughly around that range. And a pea shooter, really. Wow. Six kills, yeah. Not bad. This thing just racks up kills really, really fast. If you did not manage to get this thing, then I feel like you really are missing out. The only unfortunate thing is that the tasks were kind of... Ah, I, the task kind of annoyed me, because remember how last year, you only had to do, like, a certain number of them, and then you got the thing? The gift back then, I can't remember what it was. A certain number of tasks, but this year, you either got a small chance in every single task, or you just had to do all of them. Damn, this plane just kills so fast, I end up killing my friendlies as well. See how this thing takes up against the bomber. Ooh, no enemies coming my way. He should be fine. Let's see, some long range action. Ah, no, way too far out of my reach. If he turns around or something like that, then maybe I can take him on. Otherwise, I'm not going to bother. So, this is going to be turn out to be a, quite a short match, I think. Because the enemy's not even capping the zone. We had that, like, HE that tried capping. But he ended up uh, face planting into the, into the ground. Epic landing. Such skill. Much while. Alright, here we go. Attack against the bomber. Thing is really good though. Sets stuff on fire pretty damn fast. Okay, that's not mine. HE51? <laughs> Mind you, these are really good targets for me to be going for. And demonstrate the capability of this plane. Because that's like little biplanes, dude. That's, uh... Not, not fantastic, you know. I'd rather be trying to take on something a bit more heavier, armed, or... I don't know, we'll see if I can find something mingled in here. Come on guys, you need to capture your stuff. Alright, here comes the gladiator. Still not a good example, but it's gonna be a kill nonetheless. See, with those gladiators, you can just like take out... You can just take them out here. I'm gonna go suicide, because the game's almost over anyway. Ah, fuck it, I'm not gonna suicide. I was hoping that more enemies would be coming my way. But that was an HE, right? So that's a better example. What about this uh, hurricane over here? Dude, 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 dude. Ooh, that's a critical. He's on fire. Thing is so damn powerful, dude. Armor pretty good. I mean, I survived shots from another I-301. That's how good it is, right? Damn, the enemies are so desperate to try and cap it that they're just like... They're so desperate, dude. They're gonna get killed. There we go. So 10-0 and 0 in the I-301. I'll fly another match for you guys. Just to... So you can be absolutely certain that this thing is not like a fluke. Okay, so here's another match. There's Windwalker. Oh my god, are you joking? Uh, Windwalker. <laughs> Let's not go for each other, please. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> uh, if you don't know who Windwalker is, he was in... He was my partner, actually. In, uh... 
in the 2 vs 2 tournament, so I hope he's not going to come for me because he's really good. And he has I-301s, and same with his uh, teammate over there, so I'm trying to... I'm trying to record a video right now, I don't know if he actually knows that. So hopefully he doesn't come after me. That'd be pretty damn annoying. God damn it. Windwalker, if you do this, and you're watching this video and you kill me, or your teammate kills me, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Alright, here we go. I don't even know if he's seen the message. Actually, he might have. I don't think he can respond. I think he's actually been banned from uh, the chat. Oh fuck, my engine's gone. Really? My engine is gone? Oh, that sucks. Wow, that is terrible, actually. So where's my airfield? My airfield's all the way back there. Oh god, I'm gonna have to make a detour. Alright, dudes. I'm gonna have to go uh, land and repair this thing. And then I'll go out in it again. Alright, here comes the landing. Engine's just cut out. Do 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 do. I would not normally repair my plane. Normally I would just jump out, but for the sake of the video, uh, I want to make sure that I'm using an I-301, so... Here we go. Bloop. Stop, please. There we go. Wow, that stopped really fast, actually. And how long is it going to take to repair? Seven seconds. Nice. Okay, so here we go to take off. I'm not going to use the actual runway because, you know, whatever. It's arcade. You can just, like, take off right here. Off to the side. Nice and strange. Uh, Windwork has already got five kills in this thing. So, if I'm not going to be, like, an example of the best number of kills this match, I'm sure Windwalker is going to show you guys. And shout out to Windwalker right here and now. He's got a YouTube channel where I don't think he does it like seriously like I do. Like I post up things every day. I think his is more just whenever he gets something good to post up. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Windwalker's got six kills. Let's see if I can catch up. That'd be nice. Uh, we've got a lag on the side over here. Might go for him. Why not? Just depends what happens because he's flying away right now and that's kind of annoying. If he'd stay around this area, I would probably stay after him, but, you know, it's not happening. So, let's go for this F6F. Ooh, that's awkward. Yeah, he's got a lot of speed. And plus, he's just, yeah, flying too fast. It's kind of awkward to actually hit him. Let's see, maybe I can still get a snipe out. Come on. Come on. Awkward angles, dude. Awkward angles. Much. Por favor. Come on. Come on. He's gonna die. I mean, like, look at... He, he has no chance. He's trying to land. Thank you. Very much. What the shit? Wow. I didn't know there was a party going on. That's amazing. A little bit of hits. More hits, please. And I think somebody's on me. I just set him on fire. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, shit. Let's see what I can do in terms of dodging. Oh, God. This is awkward. Whoop. Worst thing that would happen right now? Uh, yeah, if we crash, crashed into each other. Nah, that's fine. Good job, teammates. Whew. So teammates can be useful sometimes. Who would have known? Uh, they got nine kills. God damn it, dude. I had to repair, so I didn't have time. It's like, I, re I would normally kill Windwalker in this situation, but it is what it is. I can't shoot down a friend. Even if they're on the enemy side. God damn you and your choices of going on the enemy side, Windwalker. I don't know what to think. And a Spark Judge, I'm not going to attack him either. The Spark guys I'm kind of friendly with, so it's what it is. Meet your friends on the enemy team. Uh, awkward. Turn, 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 turn. Nice. That was quick. Only thing I'm a bit worried about is that if they get, like, a bit confused here. And they end up shooting me anyway. In the heat of, mo of the moment. Guy trying to come for me. Well, I think they're overall leaving me alone, so. That's pretty nice. Goodbye, plane. Making such quick work out of these guys. Oh crap, that's a lag. Let's see what I can do. This is gonna be awkward. I think he might have stealth ammo actually. Because shots aren't really showing up too much. Do 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 do. Up, up, up. And maybe get the cross. Oh, that was close. If 
Fuck. <laughs> Something else is on me, dude. I'm in such an awkward situation here. I don't even know who that is. It's a, it looks like they got small caliber guns on me. Boom. That's another one. What is that now? Oh, a hurricane again. Yeah, those are small caliber guns. Alright, so I got six kills. It's really unfortunate that I had to go repair so early on. My engine was going to cut out because the A20G got a bullet right in my engine. Would have gotten more kills. I probably imagine like 10 or something. Maybe even more. I don't know. But that's what it is. Uh, Windwalker did really good. So that's actually a really good example, even though I didn't do really too particularly well. The 6 6 kills, 0. Uh, Windwalker 12, 0. And the Judge, who was also using I301, 7 0. So I guess that just goes to show just how awesome this uh, plane actually is. And if you missed out on it, ugh, damn, that sucks. All I can say is look forward to it next time when you have the opportunity. There's one walker trying to invite me. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below of how much time you have spent in this game. And also, if you have the i301, what are your impressions of it? How do you like it? Alright guys, until the next video, this is Krebs, and I'll catch you guys next time.